Okay, so during pregnancy, of course, we would need to optimize the critical nutrients. Yeah, and I'll talk about some of them later. Uh, and uh, because pregnancy is a vulnerable period, especially for the mom and the baby, we need to make sure that the immune function is optimized and to ensure that the vitamin C, D, zinc, omega-3 probiotics are all adequate in the mom so that the baby will get the optimal level of nutrition. Now you will see in this slide, there are three trimesters, month one, two, three, the first trimester. And during the first trimester, uh, you actually will need extra folic acid, you know, which is really rich in dark green leafy vegetables. And then as you go along in the second trimesters, uh, just a summary that you would really need to have more protein and iron. We will discuss more on the iron uh, later on. During the third trimester, towards the last stages of the pregnancy, uh, you might get too heavy to go out marketing or something <laughs> towards the end, you know, and your husband may need to help you to buy things. Okay, so the last slide is actually a, a thing about how do you identify different vegetables or different cuts of meat. <laughs> Okay, so it's also a learning for the husbands besides the moms. So I do not know whether there are any husbands watching. <laughs> so uh, during pregnancy, you will need extra 300 calories yeah, per day from the second trimester onwards. So what is 300 calories? You know, it's uh, like just an extra snack, like a sandwich with uh, some egg, some vegetables in the uh, sandwich. Yeah, uh, perhaps with uh, some spreads on the bread. So the caloric and protein needs will increase, especially from the second trimester onward. Yeah, uh, and uh, you would, some of the, uh, some of you may actually have uh, still nausea or vomiting. Uh, sometimes, you know, it only happens in the first trimester, but for some uh, ladies, unfortunately, it may continue during the second or the third trimesters. So you may find small frequent meals helpful to make sure that you are getting adequate calories and nutrition. So during pregnancy, the requirements from the HPV would be uh, all these um, brown rice, wholemeal, uh, carbohydrates, about six to seven servings. Seven servings maybe towards the later part of the pregnancy. Uh, and then you will need two servings of fruit, three servings of vegetables, three and a half servings of protein from meat, fish, chicken, of which one should be from dairy or calcium rich food. So we are talking about milk. So one serving, uh, is uh, in this, this part of the slide. So what is example of one serving of um, carbohydrates or one serving of fruit, one serving of vegetables. So I'm sure you all will have seen some of these uh, recommendations of serving sizes for pregnancy. Uh, and then a nice illustration of a healthy pregnancy plate. And you will see, you know, all the colors of the rainbow on this plate uh, and the plate will consist of half of it from vegetables and fruit. Yeah, this will provide all the minerals, vitamins, vitamin C, yeah, D, E, and all that. For the proteins, yeah, you would get your, uh, all the meat and seafood, fish, and all that. Yeah, dairy. Yeah, so a lot of um, people also try to get um, more of the wholemeal breads and brown rice. Yeah, so uh, these are all healthy for pregnancy.